Level by Level Gaming, and welcome to another video on the PAPK3 Plus here. Now, it's been a while since I've done these devices. Um, if you're new to my channel, go back and look at the playlist, and you'll see all the extensive work that I've done on this original 4 gigabyte model. And now it's time to start applying things to this 16 gigabyte model. So if that's the kind of thing you're into and you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and also comment in the section below. Let me know what you think and hit the like button if you like my videos. Now, this one, like I said, is the four gigabyte version and this is the 16 gigabyte version and they are identical twins on the outside now i do have this one old one plugged up and charging and i have the original os and the original micro sd cards in both of these this is as if it's never been altered uh, in the programming and this one is never been messed with i've never even cracked the case on it or you know opened up the shell or anything like that um they both do accept the same deal here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. This old school USB. So I use those. And I've also changed um, over to this different cable just for charging. It's longer. It's off of an old GPS or something like that. The quality is a little better than what comes in the box. Um, I do have my original level by level LBL custom menu on this 16 gigabyte high quality card here um, that I use for all my testing and playing of this one right here. I am going to use that. I'm going to put it back in this device once I do some comparisons here and then I'm going to try to put it in this device and see what happens um, haven't done it yet but what I'm getting and the feedback that I'm getting is that my custom menu here is not compatible on the new 16 gigabyte um, but that'll come whenever I crack these both of these open lay them open side by side and show you guys the differences on the internals um, so strap in this is going to be a little bit longer of a video than what I typically do. I also have this bargain bin micro 16 gigabyte SD. It says it's a class 10. Um, I saw it at a local discount store, like I said, in a bargain bin of electronic stuff. Just had to pick it up. I'm going to put some uh, stuff on this and just see if this card is crap or if it was a good couple dollar find. Um, typically <laughs> something in the bargain bin isn't of great quality but you never know and um, we will see what happens with that all right let's power these guys up here uh, I think this one probably has enough charge on it I could leave it actually I'll just leave it plugged up because a lot of times with this long cord I'll leave it up and play it uh, plugged in when I'm sitting on the couch or something all right first thing you notice is it says super game and it has the infamous fish now let's fire up this one and see what the difference is. All right. It's been a while. There we go. I see a green light. All right. Now this is the new one and it does not say super game. It still has the infamous fish, but it looks like they just zoomed in on the picture there. So right off the bat, there is an obvious difference. Now, like I said, both of these are identical twins on the outside of the case. Um, and they're identical on the screens here when you fire them up. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't be able to, side by side, you really wouldn't be able to tell them apart. In fact, they have the same batteries, uh, everything so if you take this one here and you look at the battery same thing no difference um, now across the front here on the stock all this backgrounds, all the settings 
are all the same if you go through they didn't change the sound effects or anything all this is the same guys now me doing that test I don't know if you could tell the difference but listen to the highest volume on the old one here now listen to the highest volume on the new one there to me I don't know if it's coming through on the camera but there is a very distinct difference in the loudness of the new one plus for the new one all right the screen I can't tell any resolution difference uh, brightness let's see if there is settings backlight settings level one level two level three let's go with the highest one and let's see if this one's on the highest one All right, back, back. Let's see if I can tell any difference in these. Let's put it back on the original, how it fires up Cadillacs and dinosaurs. All right. I'm not seeing any comparison difference. Yeah. Um, to my, like I said, to my naked eye here, my little eye cannot spy any difference as far as brightness color clarity I'm sure they are the exact same um, what I am going to do is let's go let's try a game here now this is I have played on this old one I have played a lot of these games uh, the faults and the original emulators are well documented on the Dingunity um, we've talked about it I've got videos uh, in the comments people have made um, observations about what games work well and which ones don't uh, we've also discussed in the past my custom menu here and the alternate emulators that I use for Nintendo in here to get better performance so we will cover a little bit of that but not in super depth or anything like that but I will play a game on here that I have played on this one and I noticed substantial problems and I'm, so I'm going to use that as just a example and on the Famicom here let's see if we can find Dr. Mario I love Dr. Mario um, my wife can completely destroy me on this game though she is a Dr. Mario expert Tetris 2 I, I, I don't know just I can't hang um, anyways give me an RPG I'm good to go put something like this it's addictive I love it but I'm not as good at it as she is so let's see here player one we'll cut the volume up to see if we can hear some of the glitches all right This doesn't seem like it's doing anything crazy. Um, I'm not picking up any. I'm not picking up any slowdown or stutter. 
I'm not hearing any kind of glitches in the audio. This is playing exactly like it's supposed to. All right. Yes, like I said, I'm not picking up anything crazy. All right, let's let's do a comparison with the new 16 gigabyte version here. All right. First of all, way louder. All right. Can, did, are you catching that, guys? The, hear that? Now, to be fair, um, like I said, the first thing you can catch is those audio glitches. I mean, that was immediately noticeable. Um, not sure. I don't really see any stutter in the game. I don't see like a frame skip issue, but I mean that was that was pretty obvious that there was a issue with the sound, and it's not just when you first start the game up. I've played round after round of Dr. Mario, and um, on this one, I noticed substantial difference in the way that it was playing as compared to that one, um, and that, like I said, the sound just is not right on this. Um, but to complete what I was my thought my thought before and what I'm trying to say is to be fair I have not been inside of this one I have not done anything with the memory card to see if that is a ROM issue and not a hardware issue because it could be just that this is just a crappy ROM and this one has a better ROM on it I mean, you know, um, but just thought I would point that out because I personally experienced that and noticed it right away playing this so many times when I first got it and playing Dr. Mario. And then when I fired this one up, it was, it was just blatant right in my face. Um, and this is both the stock emulators. This isn't even the emulators that are additional that have been added or altered. Um, so stuff like that is really what I want to get to the bottom of in this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here, um, or I'm going to pause it rather, and I'm going to open these up, and I am going to place my custom menu in this device, and I'm going to see what happens with it. Um, also, I'm going to see if this thing will run this, and if it won't, then I'm going to have to make some changes to my custom menu and hack it to get this to work. And while I got these things open, I'll also show you the difference on the inside and show you the main chip that's in this versus the main chip that's in that. All right, stay tuned. All right, so we have them open, and the immediate difference is that I see this is a freshly opened device. Um, the first thing I see is this one has these little foam tabs along the top. Uh, this one does not. Um, this one still has this little yellow tape that's across the micro SD card slot, and... Um, they do have some different nomenclature on a label that is along the top here. Um, the backs of the screens look slightly different. The metal that is on this one is is kind of flaky and uh, has I don't know, a sparkly type look to it. More so than the one that's on this side here. Um, Let's see what else, if there's anything that's immediately obvious. Um, 
let me see if I can zoom in on the chips themselves. If not, I'll, yeah, okay. All right. I don't know if that's readable or not. I might have to bring the devices up to the camera. Um, you'll notice that even though it's upside down here, this one on the right, the new one still says PAP K3S version 3 DDR version 2. Um, this one over here says the same thing. So that has not changed. Um, all the markings on the board are the same. So I'm going to bring the devices up to the camera so you can actually read this chip here. Now these things will turn into a hot mess of buttons and crap whenever you first take them apart. And I try to be very gentle with these ribbon cables. But let's see if I can't focus in on this here there we go you can barely see it here but this chip right here is the the Ingenic JZ 4760 right there 4760 now I'll set this down. I feel like I'm handling nuclear <laughs> explosives or something. Um, or some kind of biological hazard. This one, if I can get it to focus in on it, says the... There it is. That one comes in great. The JZ4760B. So this one does have a different chipset. Other than that, I visually cannot tell the difference between any of the stuff on the board here. Um, I mean, the placement, the color, markings, this is identical. So they've literally just changed this chip and I assume it being a B model. Hmm, got some kind of stuff. Oh, that's sticker. All right. Um, I assume that the B model has to be a newer, better chip. I uh, don't really know the specifics on that, um, other than it's a B version. Now, let's remove this sticker here. And there is some kind of, looks like, foam protecting this. I'm just going to peel this back. And the original SD card that came in this one, the four gigabyte, because like I said, I returned my old four gigabyte model back to exactly how I found it. That is the chip. It says it's 10, class 10, highly doubt it. Now, Let's look and see. It is marked slightly different. Uh, Ultimate 3.0, 70 megabytes a second, 16 gigabyte. Um, this is supposed to be a high class card according to when you look at the websites and the sellers and whatnot. I uh, don't know if that'll ever be re readable on that or not. Um, doubt it. So anyway. That is the original card being taken out of both devices. Now, what I am going to do next is, once again, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go ahead, well, I can do that on camera. I'm going to place my custom menu in here. And I'm going to close this device back up and fire it up and see what happens.
This is literally like walking on eggshells. Man, this one has been apart so many times, guys. <laughs> this old battle axe here. And I've already got the infamous fingerprints and smudges all over it. Um, that goes way back to one of my original videos because people complained about it holding fingerprints. So. All right. Put the battery in. That automatically fires up. And there we go, guys. My custom menu. Um, where I've changed the fonts, changed the changed everything. So I've also added a ton of these. If you haven't seen this menu in action and you haven't seen those videos, please go back in the playlist and you will see what I'm talking about. Now these are the original emulators here. Um, let's see if there is any slowdown, anything crazy with Dr. Mario. All right, not seeing any glitches. Um, all right, not hearing anything crazy. Um, let's go ahead and stop this. Quit. And let's go to some of the alternate. So on here, you can notice I put alt for alternate. Um, Cap Novius and alt nes they tie into the same games it points to the same folder dr mario that is in a smaller window but there is the ability to fix that uh let me see if i remember how to do that Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Load ROM, save state, screenshot settings, video. I think it is aspect. All right, that is still in a different window, but um, like I said, those all can all be played with. This is an alternate emulator, but it is flawless. I'm not hearing anything crazy or seeing anything weird with this thing. So anyway, um, that's Dr. Mario using the alternate emulators. Settings. Let's see what FC Fast does. Go back. Ooh, that automatically sounds a little bit slower, doesn't it? Actually, <laughs> so anyway. That is playing around with some of the settings to get it to full screen. Um, there, obviously, with that emulator, there's lots of different settings. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place my menu card in the new one and see what happens. Let's just show you how easily this one comes apart. Like I said, long video, guys. Way longer than what I'm used to doing. Um, I didn't video this one because I knew it was new. It's fresh, being taken apart. 
and getting those clips to pop loose with my handy dandy god-given tool here my thumbnail i was just able to use this little small screwdriver and just pop it loose but it is a little bit of work and it took substantially longer on that one than it does on this one uh, plus like i said these things turn into a bomb sometimes of buttons and stuff that just falls off of it whenever you whenever you take it apart for the first time this one is pretty good to go all right slide my card out here i'm gonna set this one off camera because its work is done for now see what is going to be the best way because like I said this one has not been this one is not used to be taken apart guys <laughs> so angry right now what have you done to me? Oh, see that? Look at that. I had a button that didn't go back together. Let me get this back together, guys. Um, I'm not going to make you suffer through this. But let me get this one back together, and I will start the video right back up. All right, we're back. Um, actually, I probably could have done that on film once I... Uh, uh, I really just slowed down and put my mind to it. It went together pretty easily. All the buttons are back in good clicking order. Doesn't feel like anything is shifted. So let's throw a battery in this thing. Um, this thing automatically, both of them do the old one and the new one automatically come on whenever you throw a battery in it. And nada. So it does not like my menu. Uh, we've got the green light is on. This should be coming up with super fish. Uh, fish fish. I can't even do it because there's no fish there. And um, it would be considered, I guess, soft bricked or whatever you want to call it. I do provide a link to the original. Um, backup copy of this it is not my backup copy because obviously this machine had never been taken apart before so here contains the keys to the kingdom on this one as far as an original copy so i am going to be doing something about that um, backing this thing up and whatnot so um yeah uh it won't come on with my menu all right, so that leads me into what is next for LBL, Level by Level Gaming, and the PAP. Uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I've already got, uh, just off camera here, I've got a couple of laptops set up on my workstation here. Um, and I'm going to take this original image. I'm going to use a Linux PC, which these are Linux based so I can read this thing my Windows PC doesn't see this I'm going to dig into this thing I'm gonna dig into the menus dig into the programming all the folders all the files I'm gonna figure out what is so different and what it doesn't like about my menu and I'm going to first I'm going to see if I can get my menu ported onto the internal card and working with this device pretty happy with my menu um, the second thing I'm gonna do is people are telling me that this thing will not connect via the USB to a PC to be able to even just own the stock standard menu put games on there I have not tested that but I believe you <laughs> there has been enough talk about it that I don't really have to I'm still gonna plug it in I'm still gonna see what happens um, see what my computer says whenever you plug this in what it reads it as um, do some digging there 
So somewhere in here, there's got to be a reason why they blocked or stopped. Either it's a program thing or a hardware thing, but they won't, you cannot connect this with a USB. So that would be the second thing that I do, guys. Um, and then the third thing that I'm really going to try to do, and I would love to have it for the old one here and the new one, is I'd love to port my menu over to an external card um, and make it to where you just plug an external card in and you don't have to go through this uh, tedious bomb of putting things, taking it apart and put it back together and everything. Um, if that's cool with you guys, uh, if you're one of my followers because of the PAP, if you think that's how you would like to see this happen, let me know. If not, if there's a different order, if you'd much rather see this ported over to an external card that works with the old one or with the new one or, or vice versa, if you want to see that order of how I'm planning on doing things and where I'm going with this next, please let me know in the comments and that way I can work with you guys and we can try to get something going good for this new version. I'm very happy with the way the old version turned out. Um, there's still always something you can do with this. I even thought of maybe a fourth thing being a version four of our version two of my menu with up with better stuff. There's always little things, more emulators, things, maybe getting the PS1 emulator to work uh, as it does with the RS-97. Anyways, I'm rambling. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a long, long enough video already. Um, like I said before, if you haven't done so, please consider subscribing and hit that like button, comment in the section below, and stay tuned for my next PAP video from Level by Level Gaming.